these tips. Now today, what well, my video I'm gonna do is really hot. It's really hot in my shop, so I'm just trying to do this quick video. I'm sorry if the glare is coming from my head because it is kind of hot. It's like in the 90s down here, and I had to turn my AC off because if I have it running, it'll pick up on the microphone. And yeah, we don't like that. But anyways, so I got a, uh, I had a print off. I'll show it on the screen right here. It's from Matt. Oh, about one of my previous videos about my new uh, 12 volt lithium, 12 volt, 300 amp hour lithium batteries I'm using. He says, nice deal. The only thing I would add you need to connect is a whole battery balancer. If you're going to put 12 volt LiPo 4 batteries in series to balance between the batteries in series, they won't naturally balance between, there's too many balances in there. The notes, they won't naturally balance between the two batteries and will slowly drift apart. And yes, I have found that out to be this case. Uh, one time I came home, my battery bank already was completely fully charged and I tested the voltage on the two batteries and yes, one was high and one was um, lower. So what I did was I just hooked my charger up to the one battery to bring up the voltage to full charge. Uh, so yes, that is correct. Now since I'm going up to a 20, uh, 48 volt uh, battery inverter, I do need to have a full active balancer on it to, to maintain an active level between all four of the batteries. And that's what this video is about today. I just got in an Amazon package. Uh, when you go to Amazon, there are probably quite a few balancers. I sat there for about 30 minutes reading all the reviews from all the ones on there. And what I'm going to try is this lifetime battery balancer. A lot of my red said that the balancers were doing like a lot of humming and things like that, which of course that means that they're working. But the reviews I saw, saw this right here didn't say anything about the humming. It just worked good. So therefore I'm going to test it for myself too. So let me get the camera turned around and we're going to unbox this baby right here. Alrighty, here we go. Now don't pay attention to any of the stuff over here because this is like other projects I'm working on. Like over here, I have some uh, MC4 connectors. That is a tire for my golf cart, which is to my right. So let's open up this balancer. One thing people liked about this one, and one thing I like about it, a lot of them you see would have like, you know, it'll tell you different voltages upon the different legs. The problem with those is they actually do draw a little bit of current for the LED screens. This doesn't have any kind of LED screens, no lights on it or anything like that. So this is going to less use less electricity than all the other ones from what I read in all the uh, uh, videos. One thing I wish it did, I wish these actually had fuses in the, in the wire themselves. They don't have fuses. These are just stuff to protect the uh, ring terminals. So I wish these had fuses. I may go back later on and actually put fuses in all the red wires. But this is what you see. Um, you got battery one, two, three, and four. You want to hook up the uh, battery starting with the left one first. And that is what I'm going to do. Just wanted to show what's inside the box here. Mounting hardware. Manual. Different configurations. This is how I would have done it if I kept my 24 volt system. But now since I'm going to a 48 volt system, I'll be using this right here. So you hook up the first battery, positive, negative, and then you hook up the other ones after that. There we go. Well, let's get this thing hooked up. All right, so one well, of my previous videos, you saw that my inverter actually blew up on me. Uh, so these batteries have not been hooked up to anything for about two weeks now. So first thing I'm gonna do is check the voltages on all the batteries. Let me zoom in here, that way you can see the, the, the voltages. Uh, battery one is gonna be 13.34. Battery two, only 0 0.01 difference is 13.33. Battery three, 13.69, so this is uh, a third of a volt different from all the other ones. And battery four is the same as the first. So basically I have three batteries at 13.33. This third battery is 
more volts than all the other ones. So I have three batteries in balance and one that's not. One is more has more juice in it than all the others. Alrighty. So that's a good good thing to know. 13.33, uh, 13.33. This last one over here is also 13.33. So these three here are, are all the same voltage as this one is not. So this one is actually 13.39. So let's hook up the battery balancer and I'll come back tomorrow and see how the uh, balance is. All right, so I'm just gonna leave this balancer pretty much the puppy said leave it sitting right there and let's go ahead and start getting these terminals hooked up all right so this first set let me put these all the rest of these down here I'm gonna have this actual wire on the bottom and have the, this thin wire on top of this. That way this cable will be connected to the battery, closest to, closest to the battery itself. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but I've seen that's what other people have done. And so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I got the first one hooked up. All right, there we have it. So, I'm just kind of curious. Okay, this one earlier was going 13.33. So this already tells me that this has an extra voltage to it. Let's look at this one. This one also 13.34. And let me look up this last one that was 13.33 earlier. Also 13.34. And see if this one is lower than before. I don't remember what I started off at with, but I'm at 13.64. I guess I could also check for amperage. Let me see drawing one amp from this battery. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like right now I'm withdrawing one amp from this battery into the other ones. So tomorrow I'll come back and I will redo this test and see if this one came down while these other three came up. Because I right now I have no chargers hooked to this battery bank whatsoever. So yes, it is getting really extremely hot in here. So I'm gonna be back tomorrow and I'm gonna redo those voltages and see where those guys are at. So I'll see you here in a few, well, for you, it's gonna be just like this, but for me, I'm gonna have to wait 24 hours. So I'll see you back in a second. Oh yeah, and before I forget, yes, someone's gonna comment, these wires are not the same. Look how, look how long this wire is than the others. Well, that's because the one I was gonna hook there actually has the thing reincessed in this protective cover. So I know that ring would get messed up. So I'm gonna be redoing all of these wires anyways. Cause what, I, what I'm gonna do is I ordered some cheap jumper cables, two watt cable from Amazon is jumper cables. And I'm actually gonna be chopping this up to make equal link wires for this right here. So this is just my test. I know they're not equal lengths, but just bear with me. I just wanna see if these three, I can't do it. Let's see, uh, the two on the outside and this one right here, I can't do that. 
this one, this one, and this one will come up while this third one voltages will come down. So I'm gonna let the balancer do its thing. And for it, and for your information, I don't hear any humming coming from this balancer. Today is the next day. It's not been 24 hours. It's been more along the lines of 19 hours. I just got to my shop. I'm gonna go and test the uh, to see how the balancer has done. And I have a good feeling about it because I could tell it was working yesterday when I hooked it up. So let's see what the final results are. So, all right, got my multimeter. Put my, let's put my multimeter right here. Let me zoom the camera in a little bit, that way you can see it. All right, battery one. 13.34. Battery two. 13.34. Let's do the last one. This should have been the same as the other ones. 13.32, no, there it is, it was 33 a second ago. All right, now this is the one that was the highest. So let's see how it did. 13.34, all righty. So I got 13.34, same, same. This one is just 0 0.01 off, but this is a well-balanced system. All right, so, I think this is gonna be an, a great addition to my solar power system. Will it stand the test of time? I don't know. But that's one thing about this channel is if it doesn't, I can let you guys know. Alrighty guys, well, that is it for today. I surely greatly appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Ubi out. Whoop.